AI Historic Expeditions presents The Rise and Legacy of King Henry VII. In the midst of the turbulent Wars of the Roses, a future king was born. On a cold winter day, January 28, 1457, at Pembroke Castle in Wales, Edmund Tudor and Margaret Beaufort welcomed their son, Henry. Henry's early life was marred by tragedy and uncertainty. His father had passed away in captivity before Henry's birth, and his mother Margaret was only 13 at the time. Raised under the protection of his uncle Jasper, young Henry's childhood was overshadowed by the relentless conflicts between the Yorkists and Lancastrians. Fleeing the unrest, Henry and his uncle Jasper embarked on a daring escape to Brittany in 1471, seeking refuge from the warring factions. Years later, with a tenuous claim to the throne, Henry would play a pivotal role in ending the Wars of the Roses and forging a new era in England's history. On August 22, 1485, at the decisive Battle of Bosworth Field, Henry's forces clashed with Richard III's Yorkist army. Against all odds, Henry emerged victorious, and Richard III met his fate on the battlefield. With the nation in need of unity, Henry made a strategic choice in his bride. He married Elizabeth of York, the daughter of the late Yorkist king, Edward IV, and the sister of the ill-fated Princes in the Tower. The marriage aimed to reconcile the warring factions and establish a stronger Tudor dynasty. Elizabeth's marriage to Henry solidified their union and gained him the support of Yorkist enemies of Richard III. The couple's bond helped bridge the divide between the Lancastrians and Yorkists, setting the stage for a new era of prosperity. In September 1486, Elizabeth gave birth to their first son, Arthur, who became the heir apparent to the throne. Henry saw this as an opportunity to prepare Arthur for his future role, instilling in him the skills and wisdom he had acquired during his own troubled youth. Arthur's marriage to Catherine of Aragon, daughter of the King of Spain, further solidified the Tudor position and elevated England's standing on the world stage. However, tragedy struck when Arthur succumbed to the deadly sweating sickness in 1502, leaving Henry in a precarious position. With his eldest son gone, the burden of carrying on the Tudor dynasty fell on the shoulders of the young Henry VIII. At only ten years old, he became the hope for England's future eventually marrying Catherine of Aragon, his late brother's widow. Meanwhile, Henry VII's other children played their own significant roles. Margaret Tudor married James IV of Scotland, forging a bond between England and Scotland, and Mary Tudor became the Queen of France through her marriage to Louis XII. Despite his accomplishments, Henry VII faced numerous challenges. The specter of imposter Perkin Warbeck, who claimed to be one of the lost princes, haunted his reign, and plots against his rule threatened to destabilize the realm. Henry VII was not only a skilled ruler but also a patron of the arts and architecture. He extended the Palace of Placentia, transforming it into a favored Tudor residence and a retreat from the bustling city of London. It was within these walls that future Tudor monarchs would be born and momentous events would unfold. On April 21, 1509, at Richmond Palace in Surrey, Henry VII's battle with tuberculosis came to an end. The news of his passing sent ripples through the nation, marking the end of an era. In death, Henry found his eternal peace beside his beloved wife, Elizabeth of York, in the hallowed halls of Westminster Abbey. Their tomb effigies, with hands clasped in prayer, serve as a testament to their piety and the enduring strength of their union. The reign of Henry VII marked the dawn of a new era in English history. Through his strategic marriages, political acumen, and dedication to the prosperity of his kingdom, he paved the way for the illustrious Tudor dynasty that would follow. The Tudor Rose, symbolizing the unity of the warring Yorkist and Lancastrian houses, bloomed under Henry's rule. His descendants, including his son Henry VIII and his granddaughter Elizabeth I, would leave an indelible mark on the world, shaping England's destiny and forever altering the course of history. And so, the life and legacy of King Henry VII, the first Tudor king, remain etched in the annals of time, 
reminding us of the power of resilience, diplomacy, and the enduring spirit of a nation. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through the life and legacy of King Henry VII. We hope you enjoyed our film, The Rise and Legacy of King Henry VII. If you found this story fascinating and would like to explore more captivating historical content, we invite you to like, subscribe, and stay connected to our channel. Don't miss out on future historical tales that will transport you to different eras and immerse you in the rich tapestry of human history. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to sharing more incredible stories with you in the future.